Sister wives. Robin comes at Janelle behind her back. I will explain everything. Watch this video until end. Hey lovely viewers. Welcome to my update gossip channel. Sister Wives star Robin Brown has Janelle Brown in her sights as she delivers a snarky sounding remark to her co-wife in the new season. Cody Brown seems to back Robin up on her ideas. So, this might spark a seemingly angry undertone among the other three wives. The normally even-tempered Janelle is also less than enthused. That says a lot about the angst in the new Sister Wives season. Sister Wives Robin Brown rules where Cody Brown roosts. Robin Brown calls the shots during a sit-down with her co-wives and shared husband. This is a rather uncomfortable scene from season 16. As Soap Dirt advised previously, editing can make a mundane scene into over-the-top drama on Sister Wives. So, with that in mind, the latest preview shows a family torn apart. Robin Brown is the overprotective sister. Wives' mother. This is something that she alluded to in the past. Janelle Brown and Christine Brown seem to allow their kids more freedom than their youngest co-spouse. So, it appears the fourth of the sister wives calls the shots about the pandemic rules. This entails everyone sticking to their own homes during this time. And Cody appears to back her up in the protocol. But as the husband of four stays with Robin through this pandemic, she's effectively shut him off from the rest of his extended family. So, the other wives and kids miss spending time as one big family. This prompted Janelle Brown to share how the kids feel. Then, Robin clapped back, but not until she's in front of the sister wives' confessional camera alone to unleash on Janelle. Janelle Brown hit with backlash. It's hard to believe editing can cut and paste this much tension. The latest scenes from season 16 seem rife with hard feelings. Janelle Cam talks alone describing her husband's safeguards against the pandemic. She says he's taken an uber, uber, uber careful stance. In one scene, the sister wives all sit outside, in a circle, far from each other. Janelle Brown tells their husband that his son, Hunter Brown, misses seeing Robin's kids since they don't spend time as a family anymore. But this husband of four pretty much blames this on the other sister wives, except for Robin. He claims it's because they won't stay put or make their kids stay put as the pandemic continues. Robin's arm of the family practices strict safety rules, they reveal. So, they won't take chances with someone who isn't as vigilant. But then Robin opens up to the sister wives camera once she's by herself. She brings up Janelle's comment about Hunter behind the other spouse's back. Robin claims Hunter never calls and said if he did, she would let him visit. But that comes with so many contingencies it sounds more like a viewing than a visit. She said that, he can stand in the yard but far away from the kids and spend time with them that way. Robin looks into the sister wives lens to say that she's fine with that. So, she blames Janelle's son instead of admitting that she's not letting her kids around people who have contact with the outside world. Sister Wives. No sugar coating from Janelle to Robin. It becomes apparent that Cody Brown stayed with only Robin Brown during the lockdown. So, Robin's rules either come from her or Cody. And they're strict. Janelle thinks her sister wife's husband acts like it's doomsday. She says his rules and regulations are too much. It appears wife number four has what the other women want for themselves and their children, more access to Cody. Then, Cody sends Janelle Brown steaming when he says he won't be doing Christmas with the entire family due to the precautions. So, from the latest Sister Wives preview, it's easy to see that there's so much discord in the family. Sister. Wives stars Robin and Cody Brown keep their youngest daughter, Ariella on a leash. Some eagle-eyed fans noticed this in an older episode and immediately started to question this. So, is there a reason this is happening and was it a one-time occurrence? Cody and Robin Brown have been called out in the past for how Ariella behaves and how they raise her. She has been seen with a pacifier in her mouth beyond the recommended age. Additionally, viewers have noted how unkempt she appears. Now, there is a new gripe for the Sister Wives stars to deal with. An old episode has resurfaced where Ariella is allegedly seen with, what appears to be a leash on her. So, is that the cause of Ariella's leash? A Reddit thread was started and the op shared their observation. I am doing a rewatch of season 18, 
At the top of episode 1, minute 3, there is a flashback to everyone unloading the van as they move into the rentals in Flagstaff. We see Mindy walking with Ariella and she is clearly wearing a harness and a pink leash. Mindy has two hands on that leash. Apparently, this is because Ariella is tough to handle and control. A follower added this in for some additional context. Kid is feral ASF. Dot she climbed in one of the tanks at the aquarium and Chody, Robin and the nanny were all there. No, not on the show. They were seen in the wild by a fan and it was reported I think on one of the subs. Yes, she ended up in a wildlife water feature. Had three adults keeping an eye on her. More so, this was further elaborated on in a sister wives group as Ariella was allegedly chasing a sea cucumber. She thought she could catch it and fell in, or so Cody Brown supposedly told a patron. Therefore, it appears that a leash and harness were the best option. Ariella Brown is not the only child in the family who has behavioral problems. Fans may recall that Pete and Brown slapped Gwendolyn Brown and they have not recovered from that incident. Yes, it was years ago but it has hindered their adult relationship. However, when it comes to Robin and Cody Brown utilizing a harness and a leash, what did fans have to say? Were they shocked or did they think it made sense? I will never shame a parent for leashing their kids. Some kids will run off every chance they get, they are so distractible. I definitely think they are overbearing and controlling in some ways but it seems Ari runs the show at their place. Ironic that you, never saw Robin holding the leash, always the, nanny. Well emo Ariella seems to be a mini Cody so she's probably a handful and out of control so they probably have to keep her on a leash. Then, a lot felt that this needed to be forgiven because kids can jump away in the blink of an eye. It is possible that Sister Wives fans will see a whole new side of Robin Brown in the upcoming season. After the other wives left, she has been stuck in a monogamous relationship with Cody Brown. That's not exactly what she signed up for, and there are indications that she's not truly happy in her marriage to Cody. In 2009, Robin Brown left her husband David Preston Jessup to search for a different type of relationship. That's when she met Cody Brown and she said that there was a spark between them immediately. At first, she was intrigued by his polygamist lifestyle. Robin took the time to meet the other wives, Mary, Janelle, and Christine. Then, in 2010, Cody and Robin Brown got married. The dynamics in the family were never quite the same after that. Sister Wives fans saw Cody check out of his relationships with the other women to focus on Robin. Once the COVID-19 pandemic hit, the family started to fall apart. Each of his wives left him one after the other, leaving him and Robin in a monogamous relationship. Now, there are signs pointing to Robin not being content in her relationship with Cody. First, it seems like her feelings toward polygamy have changed over the years. While she was initially concerned that their marriage wouldn't be the same without the other women, Robin has also expressed that she'd be upset if Cody brought another woman in. So, what does that mean for their relationship? Sister Wives fans may find out in Season 19. Will Sister Wives fans get their questions answered? Another thing SW fans can expect to see unfold in Season 19 is Robin Brown's true relationships with the other women. Over the years, she has at least pretended to care about Mary, Janelle, and Christine. However, their departure didn't seem to impact her at all. There is also the possibility that Cody Brown wants to find another wife. After all, he has been a polygamist for decades at this point. Why stop now? If he finds another wife, Robin might find that she's no longer his favorite. This could lead Sister Wives viewers to see Robin truly unravel. The upcoming season of Sister Wives may also answer several other questions about Robin that fans have been wondering about. For instance, her reaction to the other wives leaving might reveal her true intentions for her relationship with Cody. On top of that, fans might get answers about how Robin treats all of the children in the family. She's often paraded herself around as the best mother in the world, but was she truly great to all the brown children? Not to mention, she'll have to finally break her silence on the death of Garrison Brown. Sister Wives star Cody Brown recently revealed a few things that may come as a surprise to some fans now that one wife already left the marriage. While he and Christine call it an amicable split, it looks one of the other wives does not agree. 
Sister Wives, Battle for Cody Brown. Sister Wives viewers know that Christine sold her Flagstaff home and moved to Utah. And, she may end the spiritual marriage to Cody. In the previous season, Christine said that she was unhappy in some ways. She said she wasn't getting the attention she needed from Cody Brown, which left her with emotional pain. Then when Utah decriminalized polygamy, she wanted to leave Arizona and go back. But, she said she did not want to go alone. She said she wanted all of them to return to a place where they'd be among other polygamy families. She said she considers Utah as her home, and Cody said he wanted to move back to as well. So when she brought up a possible move, it sounds as if Cody Brown went to bat for Christine Brown with her sister wives. TLC's Cody takes emotion temperatures, Janelle mad. Janelle Brown gets mad at the conversation about moving again. In the new season, Cody takes temperatures to see how his second wife feels about a possible Utah move. Christine threatened to exit the marriage and Cody Brown thinks she's serious this time around. He tells Janelle this but he also reminds her that three out of his four wives have threatened to leave, but they were bluffing. He said he doesn't think this is a bluff. It seems Cody Brown didn't take the past threats seriously, but this time with Christine he does. Janelle is angry and tells him that they all decided on the Flagstaff move. She's not going anywhere and she's adamant that he needs to realize this. Christine's need to move to Utah could put a rip in the plans for building their forever homes. But he appears desperate to keep Christine happy in the new season. This is when Janelle tells him she hopes he's not going from wife to wife to take a vote. She tells him that this better be him taking a temperature of the wife's thoughts on this and not a vote. Sister wives, one down, three left. Cody Brown wants to know where all the wives stand. Janelle tells her husband that there's nothing in Utah for her. He says he is trying to get a baseline of thoughts on a move among his sister wives. Cody admits he wants to relocate. There, but he won't move the family just because he desires to go. While he seems sincere in his worries about Christine leaving, he describes his problem in a nutshell. The sister wives patriarch claims right now he has two princesses giving him ultimatums. Viewers know that Christine is one of the wives giving Cody a hard time about Utah. Learn how upsetting this was to the other women, especially Christine. But she also defended the need for that time alone with Cody Brown. Mary pushed Cody to court Robin. But the two other women sounded as if they didn't expect to add another wife when Robin Brown came on board. Viewers noticed at the time the faces of the sister wives showed something different. Then years later the other wives confessed to the hurt. Feelings they harbored when Cody Brown brought on a fourth wife. This also included Mary, who helped plan Robin and Cody's courtship. Some fans believe Robin shouldn't shoulder the blame, as they think this was all Cody Brown's doing from the start. That was over a decade ago. So tune into TLC Sunday nights for all new Sister Wives episodes from season 16 and see how that moment changed the dynamics of the Brown family forever. Sister Wives star Cody Brown said he was surprised to learn that someone he least expected tuned in to watch his TLC reality series. Because he was stunned, this suggests that Cody Brown has no idea about what the average viewer looks like. Sister Wives, who does Cody Brown think tunes in? Some might find it odd to hear how Cody Brown called it a surprise when he learned college students watched Sister Wives together. A fan reminisced about watching Cody and his family on screen with a friend while away at college. Cody expressed his surprise at this, which seemed a bit strange. So, who does he think watches the show? It's unlikely that parents turn on Sister Wives then settle down with their kids to take in family fun. So, it's probably not an ideal show for family viewing. Who does Cody see in his mind's eye watching his show? The Sister Wives patriarch usually has his finger on the pulse of this show as far as stats are concerned. Cody Brown is known for going to extremes to keep this show on the screen. So, for him not to know the age groups that make up the viewership seems highly unlikely. Cody needs a reminder, who tunes in? Sister Wives debuted in 2010 and rocked the cable viewing world with its popularity. It started with a strong 2.26 million viewers for the first episode in its debut season. Sister Wives first offered two weekly episodes, 30 minutes each, that aired back-to-back. -back. 
So, the show offered an hour of entertainment but in two episodes through 2016. Then they changed the format to an hour-long episode like we see today. So, the audience grew as the number one season came to a close. The first season's finale episode boasted 2.7 million viewers. The season did so well during this time frame that Sister Wives came in second among the ad-supported cable channels for the age groups of 18 to 49 and 25 to 54. So, you would think Cody would know the ages of his viewers. That was the beginning of Sister Wives. From day one it captured viewers of many ages. So, it's not as if college-age kids all of a sudden started to tune in. Sister Wives, today's problems fall across all age groups. Cody Brown saw a strong beginning when Sister Wives first graced the screen. This includes viewers who turned in from that age group he claimed surprised him today. But the views faltered for the last season they aired. Season 15 debuted in February of 2021 with 1.429 million viewers tuning in. Then, for the finale of season 15, only 1.556 million tuned in. The season ended with better numbers than it started with. But it's still a far cry from the numbers that they saw for the very first season. So, Sister Wives picked up more viewers as the last new season progressed, which is typical for this reality show. Season 14 started with 1.731 million viewers and then the number grew to 2.381 for the season finale episode. But season 15 numbers are low. So, unless Cody Brown changed drastically overnight, he not only knows who is watching but how many as well. Christine Brown wanted to go back to Utah, a place that feels like home to her. Now that polygamy is decriminalized, she begged her co-wives and Cody Brown to consider a move back to Utah. But that was an all-around no for the others as Coyote Pass is where the rest of them want to settle. Neither Cody Brown nor the other sister wives co-wives would have it. So, today it looks like she did it alone. Christine said she was pretending. The latest video clip to surface, promoting sister wives season 16, demonstrated just how disenchanted Christine Brown was. She went through the motions as Cody Brown divvied out the Coyote Pass plots to each wife. But when speaking to the camera, Christine Brown said all she could do was pretend to go along with this. The third wife to join the Sister Wives clan also explained her situation to the fans. She explained why a Coyote Pass move wasn't for her. The mom of six seemed to refer to her marriage with Cody Brown. She said, why would he want to live on the property with a dysfunctional marriage when right over there he's got a full functioning marriage? While no wives' names were mentioned, most of the Sister Wives followers knew who she meant. It sounds as if Christine means her own marriage as the one that's dysfunctional. Of course, fans pointed to Robin Brown as the wife whose marriage is functional. Sister Wives. Huge round of virtual applause. Christine. Brown leaving behind her Sister Wives home has fans elated for this seemingly lonely lady. So, is he referring to her as one of those princesses? Does he mean Janelle Brown as the other princess since she takes a hard stand against moving back to Utah? Sister Wives star Cody Brown struggles today as TLC reminds fans in a throwback clip how he once believed polygamy was the only way to fly. The scene from the first season raised some eyebrows a long time ago for some viewers. Many saw this meeting as bizarre when they watched the new season. Sister Wives, Cody Brown, offers unique family talk. The scene is set in the Utah house where Mary Brown, Janelle Brown, and Christine Brown all lived under one roof. Christine is pregnant with Truly Brown as she sits with Cody and the other two wives discussing bringing Robin Brown into the family. But they are not alone, all the Brown kids are there as well. The oldest sister wives kids are in their early teens. Then the rest look to be elementary school age and younger. When this first aired, it became a controversial scene among the sister wives viewers. Fans thought Cody acted like a smitten teenager as he asks his children's permission to make Robin a part of the family. One of the boys, who looks about seven years old, shouts out to his father, Go get him, Tiger. This causes the entire family to break out in laughter. But today the fans of the sister wives know more about Robin Brown entering the family and how it wasn't as easy as it first sounded. TLC. Does Cody's family pretend for the camera? In the throwback shared by TLC, 
It looks as if Cody has a sister wives cheerleading squad. Everyone is happy and excited when the camera focuses on them. But the screenshots below seem to tell a different story. It's what the sister wives family looks like when they're caught as the camera pans the room. Their enthusiastic demeanor over this news doesn't show up in the faces below. A while back Christine Brown shared that this was an especially tough time. For her, she was about to have a baby. But the attention all drifted to Robin Brown. Cody is giddy over what the future possibly brings for him. It looks like the excitement is contagious for the sister wives family. But is it possible the wives and kids play it up a bit while on camera? Sister wives. Real feelings surfaced years later. Over the years the sister wives dropped hints about some unhappiness during the earlier seasons that did not make the editing cut. Christine. Brown discussed how Robin joining the family hit her hard. She didn't want another wife joining the family. But viewers wondered if that made a difference to him. But while Janelle Brown and Mary Brown were okay with this at first, their hard feelings surfaced with the honeymoon. All three of Cody's original sister wives had issues with the 10-day honeymoon he took with his new wife. Robin shared that she was sad to learn how upsetting this was to the other women, especially Christine. But, she also defended the need for that time alone with Cody Brown. Mary pushed Cody to court Robin. But the two other women sounded as if they didn't expect to add another wife when Robin Brown came on board. Viewers noticed at the time the faces of the sister wives showed something different. Then years later the other wives confessed to the hurt feelings they harbored when Cody Brown brought on a fourth wife. This also included Mary, who helped plan Robin and Cody's courtship. Some fans believe Robin shouldn't shoulder the blame, as they think this was all Cody Brown's doing from the start. That was over a decade ago, so tune into TLC Sunday Nights for all new Sister Wives episodes from season 16 and see how that moment changed the dynamics of the Brown family forever. Mary Brown is unsure. Undeniably, there is doubt in her mind. Mary says, I don't know. I don't know. Mary was close with Robin at one point, but they aren't now. However, wanting to give Robin the benefit of the doubt she says, I think that she did want me to stay. I feel like that she was sad. Wanting to trust she was real, I feel like that she had this idea when she came in the family, of, you know, this big plural family. I really think that. But when she stops to reflect for a minute when talking about Robin, she reveals, but then things were not matching up either. She also says she got that from Cody too. Additionally, she finds that there are a lot of blurry details in the relationship. She mentions with Cody and Robin, there was a lot of confusion, let's just say. Where did they stand now? After Sister Wives star, Mary Brown, expresses she has some doubt about Robin Brown's intentions, Sarah Fraser follows up with wondering how they are now. Mary says, I've seen them on occasion and talked and texted a little bit but it's not. You know, I'm in this place where I'm moving forward with my life. Then, she shares they aren't necessarily aligning with her current plans. She adds, there's aspects of my life that they still need to be involved in, but my day-to-day -day is my best friend or my day-to-day -day is my people that are helping me to move forward. Further saying, and I don't want to interact with people that are not helping me to move forward. While she is always connected with Cody since they share a child, Leon Brown, they don't socialize often. Sister Wives star Mary Brown seems content with her decision to divorce Cody. However, she also recently admitted she demanded closure while they were breaking up. Most Sister Wives fans agree that Cody Brown was less than amicable as he navigated his triple divorces. In fact, many viewers felt saddened to see him treat Mary so horribly and cast her aside. To make matters worse, he had no problem speaking harshly about her in confessionals. Eventually, it got to the point where Mary put her foot down and demanded a conversation. See what she had to say. Mary Brown felt disheartened Cody wouldn't speak to her. On screen, fans could clearly see that Cody and Mary Brown's marriage was crumbling before their very eyes. Between the catfish scandal and the official divorce so Cody could adopt Robin's kids, the situation seemed more dire than the year before. But according to Mary, Cody never really seemed interested in discussing their situation. Instead, she had to force a conversation on him. There were things that I wanted to bring up, that I wanted to be talked about, 
and they were. And then there were things that he was like, he said some really silly things. And I'm like, really, really, she said during her appearance on the Sarah Fraser podcast. I had heard tangents and I had heard temper tantrums and stuff like that, but he and I never had that. Up until that year, you know we had not had those definite conversations. He was not saying those things to me, the TLC. Star continued. Mary added that it infuriated her to see Cody say awful things about her in confessionals on Sister Wives. But for whatever reason, he refused to say them to her face. What do you think about this video? Please told on comment box also subscribe our channel. Thanks for watching this video.